them salad pizza and brunch for lunch. Our sides today will be baked apples and tri taters. In national news, Justice Department Special Special Counsel Robert Mueller sent a forceful message to, to Donald Trump on one day about the public and potential suspects about the case he's constructing on Trump's associates' involvement with Russia during the 2016 campaign. The iPhone X was released across America on Monday. Some people question if the iPhone will really make their life better. Here's CNN with the rest of, of the story. This is not the iPhone X, but it's pretty much inevitable people are going to call it that. That X is actually a 10, and the 10 is the biggest revamp to the iPhone in more than three years. First off, let's talk about that screen. Now, Apple has stretched it nearly edge to edge, so it's the tallest iPhone screen yet, but it's not quite as wide as their plus size phones. But to get that big screen, they had to do away with the home button. So instead of pressing that familiar circle, you now swipe up from the bottom to get back to all your apps. At the top is the notch. It's the one section Apple couldn't fill the screen. It houses a new camera system that enables Face ID. So instead of unlocking the phone with your fingerprint, you actually scan your face. It's meant to unlock the phone for you and keep everyone else out. Apple says the technology is designed to prevent spoofing by photos or masks and that it will unlock only if you're looking into the camera with your eyes open. So we decided to really put it to the test with identical twins, Pippa and Zara. All right, you guys, so we're gonna first set it to, Pippa, your face. Yeah. You gotta go in, in a circle. Uh, yeah, and then we'll lock it. Now this is the test. <laughs> Zara, let's see if you do it. So you just look at the, oh, you unlocked it. <gasps> no way. We, you guys got it. Okay, so we cheated the system. But let's be real, I mean, the scenario of an evil twin trying to hack into your phone, it's pretty unlikely, right? All right, <laughs> Thanks, guys. No problem. The improved front-facing camera also lets you take artsy selfies with blurred backgrounds and send an emojis, emojis that mimic you. The camera system tracks the muscle in your face and animates them, so you can waste tons of time doing things like this. Yeah. The back of the phone is now glass, and that means you can wirelessly charge, but it's also one more place to shatter. But for many, the most significant change to the iPhone X is the price tag. It will run you $999. So, should you buy it? Well, if you can live without things like the new screen or fancy front camera and all the other bells and whistles, the iPhone 8 is just as fast and $300 less. But after a few hours with the iPhone X, I kind of like feeling fancy. This uh, tunnels collapsed at a nuclear test site, crushing 100 people in the initial cave-in and 100 others when the tunnel gave weight. When the tunnel gave weight on top of rescuers. Now to seven months, your sports news. Thank you, anchors. Any distance track and field runners interested in training? Join the indoor track club that trains after school every day. Practices are in Miss Hill's room. You must have a physical on file. The Houston Astros beat the Los Angeles Dodgers in a slugfest, the final score being 13 to 12. The Astros lost the next day, making the series tied 3 to 3. Wrestling conditioning starts November 2nd after school. Today's weather will be a high of 47 and a low of 46. It will be cloudy. Now back to our anchor. Thanks, Sam. The Belgian Book Fair will be next week in the Media Center. The Core Forest School will be open tomorrow and Friday during each lunch. Ladies, Miss Green is starting a new club called Pearls. The club will meet after school <coughs> on Wednesdays from 4 to 5. This club is for any female student interested. Sign up on a sheet outside of the BAC. This club is about female empowerment and has a lot of activities and potential for community service. Come join them. LC, Ellen, and McKenzie Center for Technology are hosting open houses for 8th grade, eighth grade students. If you want to know more about any of these schools, please plan on visiting them next week. National Junior Honor Society is sponsoring a canned food drive that begins today. 
For the next two weeks, please bring non-perishable items to your college prep class. More about this opportunity will be shared with you on Friday. On this day in history, in 1800, John Adams became the first U.S. president to live in the White House. Today's lady birthday is actor Buddy, Buddy Hamilton, who was turning 18 today. He's best known for starring in Disney's Shake It Up, Nickelodeon, Bella and the Bulldogs. The quote of the day is from Stephen Curry. He once said, Success comes success comes after you conquer your biggest obstacles and hurdles. Now here's now now here is Miss Neal with the rest of your morning news. Good morning, students and staff. I have a couple things to tell you. First of all, on Monday, we are starting a new club, Arts and Crafts Club. It will meet Mondays after school. Mrs. Lothery will be in charge along with Ms. Green. So if you are interested, you can go to Student Services and sign up. So that's an exciting new club that we have to offer to you. Now, teachers, it is time to talk about our video that we'll play today. Students and staff, it is very important that you watch this. This is a video featuring Mr. Smith and Ms. Barnes, and it's about sexual harassment. If you've watched anything in the media lately, you'll notice that there's lots going on in this area. What we want to do is uh, talk about what it is, give you the definition, and then also talk about how it affects Belzer students and staff. So teachers, if you would take the time to uh, watch the video, and then after the video, go over some of the questions that um, I sent out to you this morning via the email. So take a look. Mr. Smith, now that the students have had a chance to learn the definition